Mama Duck been keeping your name safe, bruh, for the longest. Hey, Little Dirt, I respect your music. I respect what you did. I've been watching you for the last 10 something years, but I think you need the old Mama Duck a lot of salutations and apologies. The slick shit you said about that lady, bro, you did a little too much, bro. She had a conversation with Big Dirt, which is your dad. Mama Doug connected to everybody. I think you should be more respectful to that lady, bro. A lot of niggas want you out here. What I know behind the scenes, I ain't gonna say too much things deep or who she talks to, but Mama Doug be playing peacemaker for you, bro. All the ill shit you said about her son, I ain't gonna act like Duck ain't said nothing to y'all, this and that. I don't pick no sides. But you niggas is disrespectful, bruh. Like, even after Duck died, I understand you gotta let, like I said, it's a in intermission beef. It is what it is. But even with all the disrespectful ways you did, bruh, I'm impressed to see that strong lady, bruh. I'm so fucking impressed, bruh. It, it was Duck's mom who told everybody, chill on you, bruh. When Vaughn's sister got the tweaking out here, he said, I was going to make a raw ass video. I swear to God I was. And it wasn't going to be disrespectful, but y'all know how my real videos are. I was, bro, I swear to God, I was on go time. And Mama Duck is like, nah, bless one. You know, God has this. God will take care of everything. You just sit back. You know, I got this. I'm going to be all right. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, you know, do you, man. I'm, I'm, I love you, Mama Duck. You know what I'm saying, sweetheart? I love you for that. I'm seeing you niggas. When Doug died, all the extra shit you said, that shit came back into fruition for King. But I hate to, look, let me knock on wood because I don't wish that on no man. But can we be honest and quit capping? Vaughn was very disrespectful as well. He went above and beyond in what Doug did. Soon as Doug did Chicago Legends and giving love to people trying to make peace, you niggas always went four, ten times harder than him. And I don't want to hear people, oh, Doug and them did this to Vaughn. Man, shut up, bro. You think Vaughn and them called themselves the get back niggas for no reason? Get out of here, bro. No sides was innocent, bro. So you niggas quit picking sides and shit. I don't want to, oh, but Doug did this. Shut the fuck up. Your favorite rapper, King Von, is right now being accused of killing who? K.I., which a lot of us allegedly been do that. I ain't going to get into that. But you niggas be dancing around this shit, bro. Mama Duck been making everybody leave Dirk's name alone, bro. She wanted us to just look at it from a standpoint of journalists and be respected and don't be repetitive with the fuck shit. But I see Dirt, hey, I ain't say nothing to that woman or this and that. And I feel like Dirt, now is the time with all these niggas backdooring you and shit. And now you paranoid like a motherfucker. That's why you made that Instagram post in response to my video, gang. Now, what you need to do instead of responding to videos, shout out to you, though. Because I'm glad you understood the video I did and you looked at it. You understood. Yeah, that nigga blessed one telling the truth, bro. Niggas in my gang is back doing it, nigga. So, Dirk put out the Instagram. You in that small space. You know Mama Duck talked to your dad. Reach out to your dad. Your dad is a real one, bro. Shout out to Big Dirk, man. Reach out to your dad and go talk to Mama Duck. Go feel that lady's pain, bro. Through pain... I guarantee you, you'll get the attributes to wake up and see the skills to see who the fucking snakes is around you. Go see who the fucking snake is around you, my nigga. I see you giving love to everybody on that friendly shit. Like, what the fuck? Every nigga done turn into gang gang. Like, God damn. Every, if you a rapper, come hang with me, bro. Oh, every nigga who's from this state or that. Oh, we friends now? Come on, bro. What happened to that little dirt when you ran across the game for disrespecting your name? I'm not preaching or promoting violence at all. We follow the YouTube guidelines here. Educational purpose. But my nigga, what happened to that dirt, yo, when game playing around with you? You didn't resort to violence. You resorted in a real manner, my nigga. Now you just dismissing yourself everywhere, bruh. It'll do a lot of shit for Chicago. Little Dirk apologize to Mama Duck, but, but you're a proud nigga. I don't see you apologizing to Mama Duck, and I guess, you know, let me fall back. You might not have to, but what if the title reads like this? Little Dirk has a conversation with Mama Duck. Oh, man. Dirky yo and Mama Duck the clout slave. Whew! My nigga, a little nine-year-old out there, a little 12-year-old out there, and they gonna wipe their eyes. Is that's what I'm seeing? Some of these niggas might even start crying, bro. Like, damn, bro. Some of these people might even feel like they seen God for the first time. Cause through the energy of you and Mama Duck making peace, it's like bringing them to God, bro. Nigga, try to save a life for once, my nigga. 
Just get beside yourself, my nigga. Everything can't be about you every fucking day, bro. You got to wake up and think about others. It can't be how could I do better for myself, which it should be that. But it should also, how can I do better for myself and how can I do better for everybody else in the world? If we all had that fucking one mentality and that one accord, oh, man. Oh, man, you know what this world would look like, gang? If we all had that one accord, bruh, I know in the Haitian words and the flag right here, you can't see this word because it's too small. Right here, it says la union, la force. You know what I'm saying? Together, we more stronger, bruh. Let's get that unity, bruh. I really feel like that, but I know, I know, I know you niggas watching this video and you rap nigga. I, I'm, I'm the corny nigga, right? I get, I guess I got to sag my pants a little bit more, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Talk like I'm in a real typical stand stop over there. All that extra shit, bro. I don't do that, bro. Every time when I celebrate my birthday through a different phase, I start reflecting on the year before. Did I reach my goals? Did I become a better man? What, what's my plan? What's my objective here? Then I look at the pros and cons of everything I decide that I'm going to run and do forward for the next five years. Bro, you don't, do you niggas even do that? Do you niggas just wake up, drink some lean? You know what I'm saying? Chill and smoke all day. Because I smoke too, gang. I ain't trying to knock a nigga off or, or anything like that. I used to drink lean too. Facts. I'm not trying to be better than the next man. But do you grow, my nigga? Or do you just a hating nigga out here? Some of you YouTubers, nigga, is just wild for me. I sit back and I go, oh yeah, I see the play already. Niggas become who they become based on trying to be the cool nigga in the room. Mama Duck ain't once trying to use her son death for clout. Nah, my nigga, she's just been at work. That lady been at work, bruh, and she ain't never took a chill yet. Mama Duck just been working only, bruh. Hey, what? Hey, I see Mama Duck. Where she at, man? Where the beautiful Miss Sheena at? Mrs. Weekly, can I find you? You know why you can't find her? Because, gang, she's at work. She's working. Every time you see that lady, bruh, that beautiful lady, she, she's at work. And then when you see her at night, you see her tired and frustrated from everything she got to deal with and do with. And all you fuckboys out there who keep saying something about her son, bruh, that's pussyfied on me, bruh. I understand if you got beef with the son, you know what I mean? Because even Mama Duck understands we all men in the streets out here. I'm pretty sure Mama Duck knows FBG Duck is a big boy. He can handle himself. Rest in peace to Duck. Big clout. But what I don't understand and I got to look at is niggas not understanding what they do, bruh. Niggas is coming at niggas' mamas now. And they, I want some cool points. I remember CJ Casino, he said to a rapper from Orlando that, oh, bruh, I don't care if I got to get you and your family in the house. Everybody getting hit the whole house. Nigga, you a hoe for that. If you just call stepper, then go step on some shit, nigga. Catch your nigga lacking or whatever it is and go step on some shit. You know how easy it is to bust into a whole house? The most softest nigga on your neighborhood could do that, gang. The weakest nigga in the classroom could do that. They already doing that whole ass shit. So you just identifying yourself as a whole ass nigga. So everybody got to get. Because you just got to be that pussy fight. Bro, this shit, wow. And I ain't saying that to Dirk. I'm talking to everybody on the spectrum of the table, bro. Mama Duck need an apology from a lot of you folks out there. But little Dirk is one of them. I know what Mama Duck say behind the scenes. I can contend to that. When I talk to Mama Duck, she ain't be like, oh, bless one. I want you to go violate Dirk's name, educational purpose. I want you to go say, nah, she's preaching good, bro. I can't even fake it. She preaching so good. That lady be motivating me to do more of these real videos. Ain't no fakeness in Mama Duck, bro. I got a, I got a video that's about to hit 100,000 that put Miss we um um Mrs. What was that? What's the demon lady name of the mayor of Chicago? Mary Lori Lightfoot. The demon lady who tried to call Dirk. I mean, um, she said FBG Doug, he's a criminal, a gang member, with no facts of that. She so you you watch the internet a lot now, Mary Lori Lightfoot. Go fix your city, man. Ma'am, go fix your city. That documentary I did is because of beautiful ladies like FBG Duck, mama. Big facts. She gave me a little bit inside information. Allegedly, we're going to leave it at that. Big facts. Mama Duck don't go profess what she got to profess to, and I just follow pursuit. Every time I see one of you whole-ass niggas I want to do a video and turn up on, I go, what would Mama Duck do? Learn from her. Be better like Mama Duck. 
Then I continue on and I think about it, I rationalize the situation and I come with better terms with the logic that I'm going to go about. You know what I mean, bruh? Which is a peaceful message, bruh. Only a bitch-made nigga will watch my videos and get offended because they know I'm probably talking about them being that whole-ass nigga most likely. But if you watch my video and you go, he's speaking that real, I could take some advice from him. I may, I may not fuck with him. But he, he giving that real piff. Then you the type of niggas that we need in the community. But you folks out here, <laughs> you live and learn, gang. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm done up in this hole, bruh.